This UCSD TV program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest programs. What is the future for us? Well, it is, in a nutshell, creativity and innovation. It's a whole new sector that's evolving. But how do you make someone creative and innovative? When you're thinking about what is it gonna look like, what are our children now, what are they gonna need in the 21st century in 30 or 40 years, we really have no idea. What we do know is that they need to be able to solve problems work together collaboratively with other people, and have creative uh, energies and ideas to think outside the box and to solve problems. And that's where the arts is so critical to helping develop their minds so that when they do grow up and they do have a career or a job or a business, that they're able to tap that creative energy and try to solve problems in new and different ways. We in San Diego Unified, with the support of the Board of Education, have been growing our programs. Arts brings a whole new lens on problems that we are trying to solve, and it actually surfaces new interesting um, opportunities that we can tackle together as a team. Art is not an elective. It is a part of the core curriculum that is required for a child to develop their mind and become a whole educated human being. You know, when children apply for UC, one of the requirements, one of the curriculum requirements, is that they've had arts education. San Diego Unified School District's Visual and Performing Arts, or VAPA department, provides quality standards-based programs and resources for students and teachers. Each year, all students participate in a variety of VAPA experiences. I believe that our superintendent is a part of this machine, this engine of the arts. She believes in it for all the students. It's something that all students deserve and it's integral to their education. The VAPA department provides instruction for students to practice and develop mastery of dance, drama, music, or visual arts. It takes people out of their comfort zones. Putting them in front of that challenge and then coming through the other side of it, there's so much pride there's so much uh, self-fulfillment that happens. It really builds character. From here, let's take a Sotie Air Vest. Up and down. Now, let's go ahead and I think one of the skills they're learning is the idea of focusing on your goal and not settling until you actually have achieved it. So it's not so much, oh, I'm trying to do this, but I'm actually doing it. As I surrounded myself by people that were here for the same thing that I was and who were also sort of afraid of um, breaking out of their shell because they wanted to explore themselves artistically, it did build up my confidence. And now I can do so many more things that I couldn't before, like talk to people. Arts Integration uses any one of the visual and performing arts as a tool for teachers and teaching artists to help students master other content areas like math, science, or language arts. With the arts integration then, of course, comes teacher support, teacher workshops, working with a teaching artist to provide that meaningful arts integration in both the art form and the other curricular area. Baking soda solid, vinegar is a liquid. They react to form a gas. In an integration lesson, you really have both a set of dance standards or theater objectives for your lesson, and you also have a set of um, English language arts, if that is the other content target, objectives. And you teach to both, and you assess for both. Show me a shape that represents zinc, something hard, something sharp. One, two, three. Just like we model for our kids, when we have people who have experience and passion for theater and passion for dance, and they're modeling for us, that's contagious.
on the board you put fetch, you put crown, you put tumbling, any new words. You show them the spelling, the enunciation, right? And then we use uh, theater to back up the learning of the new vocabulary words. In the act of engaging with any medium of art, you know, we just, our whole, you know, I, a child's whole being, their whole, all of their senses are brought forth. What I didn't realize until I came out here to San Diego, how important the arts were to enhance math and science, and how important they were to generate the new thinking skills that our kids need to survive. To hopefully succeed, but survive. Students participate in formal and informal presentations of their work. The audience may be other students, family and friends, or the community at large. Sometimes, students perform with professional artists through community partnerships. We've been recognized over the years with a variety of awards for the work of the Visual and Performing Arts Department. One of the awards has been offered by the Kennedy Center for the Arts and the National School Boards Association for the best visual and performing arts department in the nation. We have been fortunate to been recognized by the National Association for Music Merchants as best communities for music education in America. And we can't do it without our partners. they will be sitting side by side with the many Mozart Festival players. And these are the best players in the world. And I, I, I mean they are the best players. And for them to have this opportunity, and uh, th this is why I'm so happy being a part of Mini Mozart. When there's a performance, there's a date, it's going to happen, the tickets are sold. Ready or not, here we come. Giving something up, for example, sleeping in on Saturday mornings, it really pays off. And I think that'll be important later in life where people learn that it's okay to do things that are maybe more difficult for you or more of a challenge because there'll be a bigger payoff. In addition to performing, students also exhibit their original artwork at school and in the community. Some pieces are selected for the annual District Student Art Exhibition. Whether presented at their school or in a theater or gallery, attending a performance stimulates ideas, reveals culture, and makes connections for student audiences. It was, like, it was kind of like he was taking me back to Zimbabwe. It was really cool. Like the, the power that those instruments have is tremendous. In a global economy, cultural literacy is really important and empathy. When students participate in the arts, they develop artistic perception, creative expression, historical and cultural context, and aesthetic valuing. Students also make connections and see relationships and applications in other content areas that prepare them for the 21st century workforce. The biggest problem that we have is most people think the arts are um, a frill. You know, the arts are for the rich people. No, the arts are for everyone. But more than that, looking at it as an economic issue, this is an economic issue of unparalleled importance. For us, it becomes really important that combine analytical thinking with critical problem solving. And on top of layer that all with diversity of thought, I think we can uh, really create a very interesting environment for new innovations to happen. If we cut arts and music, then that we've noticed through research and cognitive development that what happens is then students perform at lower levels in math and English and science. So we've made that connection to build and ensure the whole child. The arts are what bring the meaning together, and that's what students automatically adhere to. And then they're able to connect it to other curricula areas that are very important for student achievement. We teach kids life-changing skills. Before I started all this music, I didn't really want to know what I wanted to do with myself. And now I know I want to major in music and technology. And this has kind of helped shape me and define who I am today. Magic doesn't happen if you're going to live in your comfort zone.